Oh, thank you so much. The boys and girls are coming for children's worship. While they're coming, let me talk to you about Missions Conference. It starts on Wednesday night, and this morning when you came in, the ushers had a bulletin for you, as well as a Missions Conference schedule. They look the same, so you'll want to read and check the bottom of it, and it'll say Missions Conference or Church Bulletin. And we have really an outstanding group of missionaries with us. I'll introduce them to you. We have... Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate that. Can you all be patient for just a minute? All right, I know you can. Um, so we have with us the Gunters, of course, they're from Stanley Heights in Australia. We have as well the David and Stephanie Gross. They're going, or they have been one term in the country of Moldova and uh, looking forward to, I've known off and on Brother Gross for a while and I'm really looking forward to him being with us and their family. And then uh, Dan Dong and Sandy, of course, they're members here and, and we supported them in a number of places over the years. And uh, so I'm just looking forward to having these folks with us. I hope that you'll plan on being with us at everything that you can be at. There are a number of things you want to sign up for, and I want to stress that. How many of you know what it is like when you're trying to plan for a meal and you're trying to plan for things and people don't let you know? And you don't know whether you have five or 500, you know what I mean? And our folks that plan all these things, it would really be great if you could help them to know that you're coming, right? So um, if you would, please, make sure you sign up. There are a number of things you want to sign up for that need to be signed up so that the, the folks can plan for you, our people that are serving us. The chili supper on Thursday, we have a chili supper so that you don't have to, if you're working during the day, you don't have to worry about dinner. You just come get everybody, gather them up, and come right here. We'll have a chili supper over in the, the gymnasium, and then you'll be ready to go. Uh, on Friday night is our banquet, our international banquet. Make sure you bring enough food for your family and then a few others so that we have our guests taken care of. That's Friday night. And then on Saturday, there's the men's breakfast. And men, bring your sons, your grandsons, bring those boys with you guys. Come on, sign up for that. Sign up for the ladies' luncheon, ladies. And uh, there, is, there, there are options for you. There's regular and there's gluten-free and all of that. And uh, trying to take care of all those things and serve everybody. So those are things you want to sign up for. Next Lord's Day. Uh, we'll have a very full service. A lot of things happening in these morning services, in the evening service, during the adult Bible class Sunday school hour. Um, there are three places. Each of the missionaries will be in a different place uh, that you can choose which group you want to go. One group will be in the auditorium. One group will be in the fellowship hall. One of the missionaries will be upstairs on the second floor. And so you can um, choose whichever missionary you want to hear uh, on that during that uh, hour. All right, and I hope you're already praying about how God would have you grow in the grace of generosity and giving and the commitment he would have you to make in that regard, and I hope you're praying for God to speak to your heart. It may be about going to the ends of the earth. Uh, maybe one of you kids, one of you kids, God may speak to your heart, and in the next week, if Jesus tarries, you may make a decision that God wants me to go that many years from now, You'll be on a mission field because you made a decision in a conference like this, this week. You just never know. And um, I hope you're just praying for God to open your life, whatever he wants in your life, that, that you're really asking God to make this a rich time in your spiritual life. Okay, then one other thing, and then I'm going to talk to you about the box, okay? Hold on just a second, just a second. Okay, she's excited about that box this morning. Okay, um, this year we're doing something we've not done before. We're doing a passport to missions involvement. And there are, in this, there's information about the missionaries. There are things that we're going to ask you to do. There's a missionary quiz you'll take. Uh, things that you can sign up for that, or that you've checked off, you've done. You've visited the missionary display. Um, you've read their little the biography that's in this booklet or in the, the conference schedule that you can pick up as well. Um, you're going to write down a request for that family. And if you check enough of these off and there's a thing there, anybody can do it. Whether you're one of you kids, hey, you kids are going to do your passport. Man, and your mom and dad can help you with it, Whether, whatever your age is. And at the end of the conference, Sunday night, if you have, what is it? 
If you have 18 to 21 of these marked off, we'll have a treat for you. We will have a treat that you will like and you'll enjoy. And we will, but it's just a way to get involved. It'll be so fun. So pick your passport up. You can pick it up to, after church this morning. After this service, the ushers have these. Um, if you want to pick it up on Wednesday, that's, that's great as well. How many of you are prone to forget things? Don't raise your hand. How are you prone to lose things? Don't raise your hand. If you're one of those people... Pick it up Wednesday night, all right? And everybody can get one, and I think it'll all be great. Okay. Pastor, yes, ma'am. I'll show you what's in the box. Oh, you're going to show me what's in the box. I gave you this because I love you. Oh, wow. How wonderful. Thank you so much. You're oh, welcome. Thank you. Oh, boy, I'll tell you what. I'm getting all kinds of things. Okay, go ahead and have your seat. She, I don't heard this. She said, I gave, the, gave you this because I love you. Okay, isn't that nice? Okay. Oh, look at this. Did you make this? I did. You did? Oh. Only for me? I can keep it? Yeah. I can take it home? Yeah. Oh, well, I will keep it and I will take it home. I like that. Let's see. What does this look like to you kids? Uh, I did that. A, a Okay, well, a caterpillar. Now, a caterpillar, what does a caterpillar eventually, what can it change into? What? A Some... butterfly. But does this look like a butterfly to you? No. That, that look, and you did a good job. It looks like a caterpillar. Okay, all right. Oh, you can show me all about it after church. I know you can tell me everything about it after church, okay? So there's a caterpillar, and a caterpillar is an interesting creature, isn't it? But boy, it's not nearly as beautiful as that butterfly, is it? I love that butterfly. And um, what a difference, what a difference, the difference between a caterpillar and a butterfly. How beautiful the butterfly is. A caterpillar, that's okay, but it's not nearly as beautiful as a butterfly. And God is such an amazing creator. He designed these caterpillars, and they get a they wrap up in some kind of webbing called a cocoon. I learned about this long, long ago when I was about y'all, some of you all's age, and and all I don't know how it works, but God made it this way so that that caterpillar gets all wrapped up, and then when he comes out, he is changed into a butterfly. He is transformed. That butterfly doesn't look at all like the caterpillar, does it? It's completely different. Transformed. What a difference. The butterfly, so beautiful. The butterfly, pretty cool to fly. How many of you think crawling around like the slow as a caterpillar? that doesn't sound very cool, does it? Would it be more fun to fly around? Man, that would be awesome to fly around. So um, what a difference is made. Do you think a butterfly would ever want to go back to being a caterpillar once they get you? No way, you know? Now watch this. Here's, the Bible actually talks about this kind of a subject. Um, here's what it is. The Bible says, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed, changed, it means it's the same word that you learn about when I learned about uh, butterflies and caterpillars in school, metamorphosis. It means a change of form. And it's the word that God uses. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So that what God wants to do in your life is the world around you wants to say, be like us, be like us, be like us. But even though the world around us says, be like us, God says, I want you to, your life to be changed to be like me and to become, instead of a caterpillar, a beautiful butterfly in God's sight. And the Bible says the way that happens is by the renewing of your mind in that verse. There's more the Bible talks about the subject, but it means that in your life, you're going to have to think differently. You have to think the way God thinks. The things that God says are bad, put those away. The things God says are good, put those on. Say, wait a second, I want to think the way God thinks about my life, that his love for me, that he's on my side, that he has the best for me, that he is holy and wants me to be holy and pure just like he is, that he has everything that is right for me. And believe what God says, and then as you believe what God says and obey God, what God does is he transforms your life, and he's in the process of taking you from being a caterpillar to being a butterfly. 
And there are many things he uses. He uses your parents. He uses your pastor, your church. He uses circumstances in life. He uses his word always and the enabling of his Holy Spirit. But all of these things are done because God wants you to be a butterfly, not a, not a caterpillar. So are you going to let the Lord change you? Next time you see a caterpillar, say, hey, do I want the Lord to change me so I'm a, but a caterpillar or do I want to be a butterfly? He can make you a butterfly. All right. Hey, thank you very much. I'm going to take this home with me today.